There is one good thing about Trump's resurgence in the polls. He's getting cocky. As opposed to Trump in his humbler moments when he's tagging every vertical surface like a poodle marking its territory, <laughs> forced to confront the issue of his passionate five-year affair with birtherism, Trump teased the press with the promise of a super-duper special not-to-be-missed scoop. Oh, boy! Any moment now, we are expecting Donald Trump to walk into that room there in Washington, D.C., and to make, in his words, a big announcement. Uh, they're running just a, a wee bit late there in the nation's capital, but you can see the Republican nominee uh, has landed. Jesus, how is Trump going to make the trains run on time when he can't make his own plane run on time? <laughs> After getting all three news networks to watch his empty podium for an hour, like a nest cam waiting for the hawk to return with a dead squirrel, <laughs> Trump finally came out and said, set the record straight about the birth of his new hotel. Nice hotel. <laughs> Under budget and ahead of schedule. Isn't that nice? <laughs> this is our brand new ballroom. We'll be having our opening ceremony in October, and it's going to be something very special. Skip ad! Skip <laughs> ad! <laughs> then Trump spent another half hour trotting out a whole Spielberg movies worth of veterans to talk about what a hero he is. Their message being that the person who was in the room when Osama bin Laden was taken out is not as qualified to be commander in chief as the person who was in the room when Cindy Lauper was taken out. <laughs> Gradually, it dawned on reporters that they'd been conned like a bunch of Trump University students, which, by the way, is one of the many, many important stories they could have been reporting on instead of doing this. Donald Trump was supposed to speak around 10 a.m. Eastern time. As you can see, we're well past that. He has the complete national media attention on him right now, and he's just going through his list of supporters. And we're all waiting. Wait, what is he going to say? Well, he hasn't said anything yet, but he certainly has our attention. Yeah, he's very good at that. Correct. I also would have accepted, we're very bad at this. <laughs> finally, finally, the press got what they came for. Hillary Clinton and her campaign of 2008 started the birther controversy. I finished it. I finished it. You know what I mean. President Barack Obama was born in the United States, period. Oh, fuck you. of racist conspiracy mongering brushed off in a 32-word statement that contained two lies, plus one of those lies repeated, and the half-hearted disavowal of the original lie? Even the part where he says, you know what I mean, isn't really true since nobody knows what the fuck he's talking about there. <laughs> the only word that is not problematic is period, which Trump probably shouldn't be emphasizing given his history with women. <laughs> The press sat through a timeshare presentation for nothing, and they were pissed. That was it. Wow. That was it. This was absolutely repugnant. None of them, none of those words, none of those words that came out of his mouth were, I'm sorry, I apologize, explaining why he ever did question uh, the birth of the President of the United States. And, really, guys, they, they did. It, it, he, she, no matter what, it doesn't matter. Donald Trump, it's false. It doesn't matter. Whoa, is that Kate Baldwin or Eleven? Send him back to the Upside Down. <laughs> Send him back. At the very least, make Trump's stage collapse with your mind. And the stage is falling apart behind us. I hope you can see this. Just... Um, anyway. Thank you. I told you we were all witches. <laughs> Having been starved of an actual story, even Fox News turned on Trump like Ramsey Bolton's dogs. He's a serial liar. We need to clarify something here that when Donald Trump says Hillary Clinton started the birther movement, he's lying. What Donald Trump did today was essentially trick the media into covering an infomercial for his hotel. That bastard! What made him think he could sneak an infomercial past the watchful sentinels of journalism? I don't know if you can actually get this shot over my shoulder, but on either side of the podium you see bottles of Trump wine, bottles of Trump water, and a butcher block of steaks, which is meant to represent Trump steaks. We make the finest wine, as good a wine as you can get anywhere in the world. Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us $3 billion worth of free advertising, just shame. We'll be right back.